So today we had a chance to look in the mirror and what did we see? Remember I said that information was not transformation and I believe that God would like us to respond to what we heard today. There might be someone here that would say, you know, I don't really know what it means to be in Christ. You may be feeling a touch or a tug on your heart and what that is is that's God's spirit drawing you. Because God loved you so much, he gave his only son for you. And that is very, very personal. You see, Christ would rather die than to live without you. That's exactly what he did. And if that's you today, I want you to just look up at me. If that's you today. Is that what you're looking at? I just love everything you say. Oh, okay. <laughs> taking you down some paths that you no longer want to go down. And you need God's help to create new pathways and to renew your mind. And if you connected in that area, I want you to go ahead and raise your hand. For some of us, we have been searching for our identity and significance in our titles and our accomplishments. Your desire today is to find your identity in Christ and in Him alone. And if that's you, I want you to raise your hand. Father, help us to be a reflection of your heart back to the world. Remind us who we are every day. Remind us of our commitment. And help us always remember that we are a daughter of Ladies, I want us to think about what we heard today. I have some questions. I'd like you to answer these three questions and then turn one on one with somebody next to you and just spend the next 15 minutes or so discussing. Um, can you help me? Sure. We have three questions and then you can just turn two to three of you. 